For thousands of years, the Columbia River and its tributaries have been home to Aboriginal cultures. They came to know its meanderings and to respect its personalities. 200 years ago, the fur traders began to know the Columbia River in very different ways. They assessed its resources and they mapped the rise and fall of its flanking mountains. The one who built the strongest understanding of the Columbia River was David Thompson, explorer, map maker, surveyor. For six weeks in the late spring and early summer of 2011, 200 strong paddled the Columbia River. That journey tested their mettle and presented them with magnificent landscapes in tracing the Columbia. Okay, all the, the four zeros, that means it's basically day one. It's so? from starting at kilometer zero. Well, we've got 198 people registered for the brigade, of which we'll probably have about 190 on board. We've got at least 90 people here right now. What we'll find is in the, this year's brigade, we've got you know experienced uh, outrigger canoe racers, regular whitewater racers. We've got all a range and range of, of skills. However, that's an individual thing, and if you put a bunch of individuals in a boat, the thing you need to do is bring them all together as one team. So this creates the language and the communication so that even the less experienced people can learn some of the tips from the people who've been doing it for quite a while. And some of the more experienced people who have the paddling skills may need some mentoring on some leadership skills, some team dynamics. It's really empowering to start to feel what it's like to be more than just, just an individual and to be connected with, with a larger, larger group.